Hello! Welcome to the channel! This video is about Pleasant Perfect Camps. Let's get started. Last couple of weeks, we talked about Pleasant Perfect Camps. What is Pleasant Perfect Camps? What time we use it? And how to form statements? Today, we talk about a tense that's closely related to Pleasant Perfect. That is Pleasant Perfect Continuous. Let's take a look. What is Pleasant Perfect Continuous? Pleasant perfect continuous tense. You can see a sentence having have plus a been, a past participle of what to be, and an ing form, the present participle. So how do people form statements and question in pleasant perfect continuous tense? Now we form positive and negative statements. Positive, a sentence without not. Negative, a sentence with not. So, example, the subject, I, we, you, they. The verb, have, or a negative statement, have not or haven't. Plus be, a been is the past participle of what to be. Your been or is am I was word or been. Plus pleasant participle, visiting, living. Example, I have been visiting here for a long time. You have not been living in Hong Kong. Now, for the other subjects, he, she, it, these pronouns will use an other kinds of uh, verb has or for has not negative. And the second part and the third part will be similar. The second part, the past participle of verb to be and the present participle of the verb. So, he has been traveling since May. She has not been sleeping well recently. Then how do we form questions with present perfect continuous? Let's take a look. Usually, in yes or no questions, the subject and the have or has will change places. Example, have you been living here? Yes, I have. Or no, I have not. Or I haven't. Has she been traveling since May? Yes, she has. Or no, she hasn't. Or she has not. How about other question words? Let's take a look. We ask questions with question words in pleasant perfect continuous tense. Like this. How long have you been living? Four years or for some years. What have they been doing lately? Nothing. Why hasn't she been sleeping well? Because she's been studying for exam every day. Now, one thing remember. Present participle is the ing form of the verb. So, the ing form, the present participle ING form of the word walk is walking, smile is smiling, listen is listening. So when we are talking about present participles, we are talking about the ING form. Very nice. That's all for today. Like this video and subscribe to our channel. See you next time. Goodbye.